Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Also brought to you by Mr. Mad Fan Force, Macias Insurance. I'm Dennis. Pigpen is in the studio uh, for the opening segment of the live <laughs> broadcast this week. You're acting like like there's a bit of time when I wasn't here. Well, now, don't be saying how I'm acting. I was just, uh, you're the one that's outing yourself now. Ah, uh, well, you I know. I was just saying you are in the studio and uh, let folks am. know you're here. <laughs> uh, happy, happy to be here. Happy to be be back. I, I was on a hiatus. Uh, government sanction. No, not really. <laughs> uh, I was I was out of town last week. That was all. Yeah, that's fine. That's Just all. next time, let us know. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Uh, uh, well, you know. Well, luckily, luckily, uh, luckily yeah, Lolo we was here. Yeah, no, actually, Alex. Yeah? I mean, we, you know. Yeah. We could have done a show without our guests who were promoting a event like that very following day. Uh, but <laughs> that's why I'm saying Alex <laughs> saved us because he, oh. he had the... He had the interview, yeah, Yeah. he had the interview. Which you were on, so some people were like, I heard Pigpen on last week. (laughs) I was here, (laughs) in my heart and in my soul. (laughs) So, Oh, by the way, this is a radio show called Riverbend Talent, where you talk about what's going on all around town, and it's brought to you by Mr. Matt Van Boris and Halpin Music Company. And uh, the Sea Shanty Sing-Along's already underway at Morrison's Irish Pub, and they started an hour early out at the... uh, Bakers and Hale for the open mic tonight. Nice. I just nice. Uh, wanted to five. Point that out. To, yeah, but it's but it's going on to nine until nine. So if you're in the Bakers and Hale area and you want to hit the open mic, you still got time. It, time. it started at five, but it's not ending until nine. Same thing with the uh, Sea Shanty Sing Along, not ending until nine o'clock tonight. So get down there if you want to do it. Uh, we've also got the Truckers uh, seven to eleven at Fast Eddie's Bon Air. Uh, karaoke with dj tony 8 p.m at martin's tunes and eats in wood river um i feel like i skipped one you did you, you yeah. did. it was a late ad uh by the conservatory um, well we don't want to skip that no touring bass player coming through oh who we got paul jarvis i think hurricane may be the name of his release i looked at his website and all kinds of stuff and couldn't put all the clues together okay uh or maybe that's a name he uses too, right? Because Paul Jarvis I, Hurricane. I googled Paul, Paul Jarvis and uh, found a writer. Ah, hmm. So okay. then I typed in Hurricane, and I got the bass player. Well, there you go, solo acoustic bass so. player. Eight o'clock at the Conservatory touring. He was in Ohio last night. Going to be in uh, Kansas tomorrow night. Wow, there you go. So he's catching a gig right here in Alton, and who knows. What you may see if you travel down there at 8 o'clock tonight. <laughs> you never know. If the guy is is a traveling bass soloist, mm. I bet you're going to see uh, some pretty uh, good stumping of the bass guitar. Uh, well, you know, I watched a little bit of a video, and you will not see a guy playing single notes going, dun. Doing lots of chords, huh? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know. Uh, Remember, you know, oh yeah, like, kind of how we it, play. Uh, is he doing? <laughs> is he doing like a lot of looping and, and things like that? No, just, I only watched about a two minute video. Yeah, and he was just you know kind of chording things and you know not playing single note. I'm a bass player, right? Kind okay. of stuff. It was obviously there's a reason he's touring, right? Yeah. So there you go again. That's Paul Jarvis Hurricane. But I would have liked to seen the other. Just a, like a single note guy going, oh, solo mio. That's my kind of thing, you know what I mean? So you know, I hope to, I didn't disappoint anyone that's probably not. Uh, probably not. Probably not. What, what else we got going on? Uh, uh, Nick Sturgis, uh, 7 to 10 at Georgia's local brew in Jerseyville. Jared Lutz having his birthday party at the Corner Tavern right in on. Edwardsville. Happy birthday, Jared. Caddy Corner from the Wild E Theater right there on the Strip as you head toward the place you love the most, the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Across the street from the courthouse. Uh, Strings and Keys, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's. And uh, Scott Marlin is underway at the Old Herald in Collinsville. Ashley and Ethan underway at the Prairie Inn in Dorsey. That is what's happening on a Thursday evening around the Riverbend area. Yeah, coming up tonight we will have uh, Fireside 
Yeah. Fireside. Uh, it's been a few weeks the ago. The band. <laughs> it was official a few- fireside band on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it was a few weeks back when we interviewed them. Yeah. And uh, they we, had we, plenty to promote then. We weren't sure exactly <laughs> when we were going to get to play this because we had so much stuff booked. And right. this was our first opportunity to actually get it in. <laughs> and uh, I think we discussed some yeah. gigs that have already passed. However, here's some exciting news. We talk about them being on the road to Point Fest round one. They won round one. They are oh. officially in round two. We we promoted that they we were going to pro- win. I we we promoted we on there. We even that I believe they we might. celebrate that. I think we even woohoo it and celebrate it. We as are if they won. time travelers, folks. <laughs> yeah, and, you know uh, what? Uh, if you have any request about what the future holds, please give us a call at four six five fifteen seventy. We know all the answers. I, I believe. Uh, you need lottery numbers? Pig Ben knows them. <laughs> They're not winning lottery numbers. They're just lottery numbers. <laughs> That's right. We didn't uh, say winning. I, I believe yesterday, December 8th, was official uh, pretend to be a time traveler day, or national pretend to be a time traveler day. Don't even be a time traveler, but pretend I'm pretty to, sure so. this interview proves that we're not pretending. Oh, I'm I'm traveling somewhere. As we say several times, let's just act like we're you guys won and go from there. Like yeah. literally in the interview. I'm pretty there sure. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, it was I remember it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of laughs with those guys. So uh check that that interview will be playing uh, coming up uh in about what another 20 minutes, I guess, something like that. Yeah, right. we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. How long is that interview? I don't even remember. I think it's about 30 minutes. You know, so. Mr. Matt Van Boris is a sponsor, longtime sponsor of this program. And uh, a little bit longer sponsored than him. We talk about Halpin Music every week. Yeah. I was wondering if you've ever heard of a tipple. A tipple? T-I-P-L-E. I, I am unfamiliar with a tipple uh okay a tipple is a musical instrument i i, I was assuming it was a okay. musical instrument otherwise i would have guessed something really raunchy <laughs> <laughs> but i was going with musical <laughs> instrument because we were talking about alpins so. yeah well that's why i was clarifying uh, we're talking about alpins and a musical instrument now my tipple's erect <laughs> well the thing about the tipple is it it's kind of a sad story yeah <clears throat> Yeah, the tipple was uh, invented and then uh, never really played. It's like this thing's kind of overboard invention. Okay. Yeah. So to give you a description of, and you know, this thing's so rare that uh, a friend of mine found it. He's a picker. Oh, yeah? You know, like American pickers. Right. But he doesn't know much about instruments, so I'm the expert they call in. Ah, I didn't gotcha. tell him he was making a bad choice there. I was, I just happened to mow his yard, actually. <laughs> anytime I'm there, I'm playing pickers. Right. Right? Sure. I got you. I like to haggle with him, even though I'm not, I don't want anything <laughs> in his garage. <laughs> you want to pretend. Right. So anyways, he's got this tipple, and he's like, take this home and put some strings on it with a couple other good tires and so I I took it home and I realized before I left there wasn't a nut on it. I'm like, well, you're not uh, going to be putting strings on this. Right. And uh, to give you a description, it looks like a ukulele. Okay. And I 100% thought that's what it was until I realized it holds 10 strings. Wow. So it's a 10 string ukulele. Roughly just to give you as <laughs> close as I can describe it. Right. But it's a tipple. Okay. Which is a Spanish word. Yeah. Proving I didn't lie on my resume about how many languages I can speak. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's another language I can speak. There you go. Uh, so I, interesting. I, I took interesting. it. At this point, I needed help. Right. Because I'm like, I what's a tipple? Right. Right? And uh, it's not like you can find just... A nut anywhere for a 10-string tipple, obviously. Yeah. You got to go to the tipple factory. You call Halpin Music. Ah, right? smart move. I had uh, met Kelsey when we did the uh, live remote out there who does her yeah, repairs, right? I remember that. So uh, I come walking in with this uh, tipple, which at the time we didn't know. It could be tipple at that time. Right. Right. We just knew it was spelled T-I-P-L-E. Okay. And so 
I proceed to uh, show her this thing, and she's like, well, I'll have to make, you know, a nut for this. Hmm. And she uh, immediately holds it up and goes, look at the edge of this thing. And she points out, you know where they normally put a sticker around the outside of a good tire to add a little design to it? Right. On the on the cheaper model. Yeah. She's like, look, this is hand-painted in there. Wow. And we're like, check this out. Nice. This is, uh, this is a nice handmade piece, and it had that look to it, but... I'm no expert, and that's why I went to Alpen. <laughs> exactly. Well, Kelsey had never seen one, neither had John Hand. They didn't know what it was either. That's how uh, rare this instrument was. And uh, so she immediately told me, you, you, you prob- we should probably get a hold of John Mondin. We need right. to call on the big guns on this. Right. right? <laughs> well, while I was out there at that uh, live remote we did, one of the things she mentioned to me was, She's like, you know, the coolest thing is when an instrument comes in I've never done before. Right. So That's I remembered that, and I said, hey, why don't you do it? Why don't you do this because I, you, you told me this back. She's like, you're right. That's exactly. <laughs> so Kelsey takes it home and uh, does all the research, finds out. It's uh, estimated worth is between two and $300. We remember the sad part of the story is. They made these things, and then it was kind of overblown. Ten strings on a ukulele is like yeah. a little too much. <laughs> right? And if you put ten strings on a ukulele, you know it's not going to just be the nut you got problems with. The bridge is going to tighten up. And, you know, so she pointed all this out and said, you know, to really get it to play right could take a little bit of time and money. So I went back to the guy, and I told him all about it, and, so now we're in the middle of this still because, you know, he's a picker. Right. He's trying to figure out the value. Right, right. He doesn't want to invest more than it's worth. Well, the first time I told him, you know, what it might cost, she was guessing at about 150 Now, I'm going to tell you that being a special piece and being that we made that uh, little deal, she's going to just look at it for me for nothing. So I appreciate that, Very Kelsey. Nice. Yeah. So we're all down to Halpin amazed by the tipple. So <laughs> amazed by the tipple. That's yeah. a movie I was in. I stopped in. An adult movie. <laughs> I stopped in the other night to talk about it. And all we could do was stand around saying tipple like we knew what we were talking about. <laughs> Try and work it into conversation right. as often as you can. <laughs> right. <laughs> Had a good time down to help him. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, you never know. You never know. Uh, there you go. Well, And if you need some expertise on, a, on an instrument, if you've got some old instrument in your garage or, or under your bed or something that you're not sure about there you go take right. it to Alpen. so i haven't uh i haven't renegotiated for the picker i feel like i'm a broker or something at this point <laughs> a broker for a picker i went from being the expert <laughs> to the broker i don't know when this episode's coming out but yeah, i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to it so there you so, go. Uh, yeah, well, they, shout out to Kelsey and uh, John Hand for helping out, helping at helping music. And and I would advise that your your buddy who has the tipple uh, uh, get it insured from Macias Insurance, Matt Van Boris. Are you kidding? See, you? Have I'm you just, ever I'm seen just, these guys, these pickers? I'm just trying to get plugs in for all the sponsors. Well, if I, <laughs> if I put that much in it, I'll never get anything out of it right. myself. I've right. got to have some overhead. You got to leave me some room on this pig pen. <laughs> That's what they say every time, don't they? And he actually uh, did say that to me, and I about lost it. Oh, man. Like, Am I an American picker uh, here or what? All good episodes of American pickers end up with them driving an old Indian motorcycle out of a barn. One thing about this thing, you could easily fit it in the van. Yeah, that's right. There you go. There you go. Yeah. It's easy to carry. So coming up in a little bit, we have a interview. It's way more interesting than probably a tipple story. But I found the tipple story interesting, and I knew you would. So a story of two tipples. Since you're the only of one, two tipples. and I'm the only one listening to each other or talk right now. Uh, uh, yeah, was, uh, I'll let you know how that uh, works out, though. When uh, I get all the, yeah, the, yeah. the numbers, I, I, I'm finish the story, man. Oh, man. <laughs> This uh, is, you know, no, no. Now the rest of the story. I, no, Paul Harvey move here. Uh, and right? now, no, a don't ta- say now. A tale of I, two tipples. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's not a tale. I'll of have two to make tip- up the ending, and only you would make stuff up uh, like that. All right, so it's not a tale of two tipples, but Friday, December tenth. A Dickens right. of a Tale right. by Jeff Calloway, 730 at Jacoby Art Center. 
So sounds like sort of a, some his own take on Dickens. Right. Paul so. Light and uh, Mike Hammond at Shea Maryland's on Friday night. The piano's down at Raging Cajun every Friday and Saturday night. Yep. Champagne Fix at Fast Eddie's at 7.30. The Drag Band doing the VFW from 7 to 10 at Alton. What else? Soul Shine Groove, 7 to 11 at the Moose in Wood River. Crystal Lady, 8 o'clock at Martin's Tunes and Eats in oh, nice. Wood River. Bobby and Jimmy Rollins, 7 to 10 at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. And Steve Mellis does an open mic every Friday night at the Hog Pit in Grafton. They've slowed down with the weather. Uh, yeah. We've got the ice rink open now, but not the Hog Pit, man. They're going uh, at the yeah. open mic on Friday night. Uh, let's see, down to Granite City now at Patrick's. We got the root, yeah, root Digging Nation, mm-hmm. nine thirty to one a.m. at Patrick's in Granite City, and then a Christmas in concert featuring local talent, live musicians, and with special guest, the one and only Bonnie Bram at mm-hmm. seven p.m. at the Alfresco Art Center in Granite City. So, yeah, man, get down and check out Bonnie Bramlett tomorrow night. And good news, three nights she's performing. Wow. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I have plans to go Saturday, so everyone nice. else stay home that night, so I got Bonnie all to myself. <laughs> Uh, Do not get out and support local music. Do not collect $200. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just yeah. kidding. Please, just, just, yeah. I, Please, I don't think I, I'm going to be able to stop people from going I, to see Bonnie Bramlett for I free. I don't think you are either, man. <laughs> I don't think you are either. And, so, and you know there's going to be a lot of other great talent out there backing her up and, oh, and uh, putting on the show. So You'll never know you unless you go. Exactly. Only way to know is to go what else we got going we got on? the links right there at uh, cottonmouth.org too so i know people are like what did they say where's that at <laughs> uh, you know alfresco art center and granite's where that where it's at but you can just go straight to cottonmouth.org and catch any of these that you're uh, trying to catch up with the song robert right. perry band five day the stagger in again in edwardsville on friday dustin coleman at big daddy's uh from six to nine lanny and julie at the moose in edwardsville on Friday night, the double wide duo at the cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon, the Grand Band in Hillsboro, up there with Hank, the Canton Inn in Hillsboro. Right on. Remember Hank from Hillsboro? Hank from Hillsboro. Right. I sell. He liked horses. <laughs> uh, we also got the intrusion. Uh, man, they're they're going to be over at the Duck Room. Very nice mm-hmm. uh, with a couple of the bands. We got uh, Rosemary and Misplaced Religion. Nice. That starts at 8 p.m. at the Duck Room. Uh, Chuck Berry's old place over there. So watch out for the toilet camps. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. And then, of course, Mike Judy presents Origami uh, Angel. Mm-hmm. Origami Angel, mm-hmm. 730 at Off-Broadway in St. Louis. And that is your Friday evening. Yeah, so let's bolt right into Saturday and uh, day number two of A Dickens of a Tale by Jeff Calloway at the Jacoby Arts Center at 7.30. And the big night uh, here around the river bend ends with Tunes for Toys with uh, Poor Dirty Astronauts at 8 o'clock at the Conservatory on Saturday. And a chance to uh, get out and support the community as they have their big shopping day over there at the market at Milton and then wrap everything up with the Tunes for Toys. Yeah. At the uh, conservatory with the poor, dirty astronauts. It'll be a lovely time, chaps. <laughs> poor, dirty astronauts. A good name for a band. Yeah. Uh, then we got Kevin Gruen and Emma Nob, 8 p.m. Shea, Maryland, on Saturday evening. Of course, mm-hmm. pianos at the Rage on Cajon. Lickety Splits, 9 p.m. at the Third Shoot in Alton. That has a $5 cover charge on it. Uh, we got Wade Trent and Anthony Nanny. 2 to 6 p.m. and then champagne fix 7:30 to 11:30. Those are both at Fast Eddie's in Alton. Uh, got got a private party at Chubby's, which sounds <laughs> enticing. I'm gonna yeah. I'm just gonna say private party at Chubby's. Uh, then we got uh, the Hooky Monster at Baker's and Hale, or just Hooky, not the Hooky Monster. Mm-hmm. Hooky at Baker's and Hale. Uh, Dustin Coleman 8 to 11 at Locks Brick House in Bethalto. And then the Moose Christmas Party with Gabby and the Real Deal, 7 p.m. in Wood River. Right at the Moose. Yep. Also got Gracia Harrison, 4 p.m. at the and Blacktop Boulevard, 9 p.m. Those are both at the Pump House in Wood River. And our buddies from Roaming Home, 9 p.m. at the Refinery in Wood River. 
Uh, what have we got? Uh, DJ, DJ Apple yeah. Beats, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. at the franchise, and Money Shot, 8 o'clock at Martin's Tunes and Eats on Saturday. The former Chico's rocking for tots. Lots of this going on uh, yeah. these days. Uh, I need to be an unfortunate child. <laughs> I, I am an unfortunate I bet we have child. enough toys for folks. <laughs> I don't like Matchbox. I like Hot Wheels. I mean, you know, we're all kids at heart, these musicians. I, and yeah. when you get a chance to play for toys, yes, I mean, it's hard to pass up. Yeah, I, exactly. You never get paid to play anyway, so when you can play for something for a good cause right, like you get that, paid you to carry absolutely stuff. loved it. And yeah, most of the time, most of the time, these bands are volunteering anyway. Yeah, absolutely, for this type of stuff. absolutely. Yeah. So that's why we're having Rockin' for Tots Toy Drive with Flip the Frog. Uh, 7 o'clock at DJ's Pub in Jerseyville on Saturday. Drew Schaefer, 7 to 10 at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. Terry Back, 3 to 7 at Grafton Windery. And PB&J, 7 o'clock <laughs> at the uh, Hog Pit in Grafton on Saturday. Down and Dirty, 8.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. at Deutsch Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. I'd like to have an 8 a.m. concert. Right, 8, 8.30 a.m. I mean, on Saturday, you're, uh, you're waiting around for stuff to start again. What about for those guys? Right. You need an 8 a.m. show. Uh, for the early risers mm-hmm. or the up all nighters, either way. Scott and Michelle Acoustic, 5 to 6 at Twigs Tumbleweeds Community Garden in Granite City. <laughs> right on. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's I think that's a benefit as well for the uh, Twigs Tumbleweeds Community uh, Garden Center. First time I saw a real tumbleweed, I was shocked because I thought they were only like on Bugs Bunny cartoons. But when you see one go by, you're like, ah, yeah. there's a dang old, danged old tumbleweed. Danged old. <laughs> uh, well, Another what? danged old Christmas concert featuring local talent, live musicians with special guests herself. Bonnie Bramlett. Bonnie Bramlett. 7 o'clock at Alfresco's Art Center. That's the Saturday show in Grand City. That's a living legend right there. Man. Three chances to see her, too, this yeah. weekend. Yeah. I think it's a matinee on Sunday. It, if you miss it, it says more about you than us. True. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so we also got Cherry Bomb, 8 p.m. at Wiggler's in Holiday Shores. And then Laney and Julie, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's on Saturday. We got Scott Marlin, 2 p.m. at the Foundry in Edwardsville. Rose Hart. 5 to 8 p.m. at the Stagger Inn again in Edwardsville. And then a seven-year anniversary with the Silver Creek Bluegrass, 6 p.m. at Reese's Brewery in Edwardsville. Seven-year anniversary for Reese's. Congratulations. Butch Moore, 6 o'clock at the cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon. They're having Oyster Fest over at Hoodats. <laughs> Paul Bond Band, 2 o'clock at Hoodats in Collinsville. Pat Liston. On the road up in Highland, E.L. Flanagan's, 8 o'clock for Pat Liston. And uh, the Owls up there at the uh, Concordia in Staunton from 6 to 10 on Saturday. Shotgun Creek at uh, Silver Creek Saloon in Belleville. I need to get down to Silver Creek Saloon. I keep hearing lots of cool things about Silver Creek Saloon, like giving everybody a chance to uh, play there type. Oh, very nice. Yeah. i seen a showcase uh, in the middle of the week. It was like a Tuesday or something down there. Oh, uh, right Sarah Schumacki, Sarah Shoemake, 4 to 7 <laughs> at Alpha Brewing Company in St. Louis on Saturday. And our buddies Derek Howard and uh, Darren Boyd. Yeah. They're doing their uh, Revolution tribute to Queensryche. Ooh. 8 o'clock at the Diamond Music Hall in St. Peter's featuring the entire Mind Crime album, Operation Mind Crime. And that that's that's a tough one to, to recreate yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. That is, that's a tough one yeah. to recreate. So kudos. They're having uh, a tough time recreating themselves. I mean, Queensryche these days. Right. right? That's what I'm thinking. So All kudos. broke up and uh, right. fighting and, you know. Yeah, hard to keep it together when it's that intense. Yeah. Uh, so Sunday, December 12th, once again, a Dickens of a Tale by Jeff Calloway, 2 p.m. at Jacoby's Art Center. That is a nice matinee to catch that on Sunday. Then Nate and Nanny, uh, 1 p.m., and then cross the line with guest Wade Trent, 6 to 10 p.m. That's both going on Fast Eddie's Bon Air. Our friends Cricket and the Grilled Avocados, 3 to 7 p.m. down at Chubby's. And then the Holiday Market with local artists and crafters and music by Lauren Waters, 1 to 4 p.m., happening at the Lodge at Lovejoy in Alton. That's right. Open mic down at Martin's Tunes and Eats with the Shell Shack Band back at it from 3 to 7. 
in Wood River. And that's a blast on a Sunday afternoon. Scott and Carl, 1 to 5 at the Grafton Winery. Skylark Brothers in uh, Edwardsville, Big Daddy's. It's 4 o'clock. And then, of course, every Sunday night, the open mic with Butch Moore from 6 to 10 at the Stagger Inn in Edwardsville. Scott Marlin playing 4 to 7 at Mike Shannon's in Edwardsville. Oh, brunch with Santa. That sounds pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. I love a good brunch and a chance to hang with Santa while you're eating brunch. And that girl band. And that girl band. So you know there's going to be chicks there. Brunch with <laughs> Right. 11 to 2, Santa. Maybe Mrs. Claus. I guess that's what you're talking about. I am. Uh, that girl I band. Get Mrs. Who, Claus Komoda. How do you know that's an all girl band? I, I don't know. It's just a good it name. Seems for, like it it, it would seems be. like it would be. But Brunch with Prairie Santa. Girls, not an all girl band. I'm just pointing out. <laughs> there you go. I, I, you just never know, do you? Right. I'm thinking Brunch with Santa is a band. Right, there you point. go. <laughs> I'm thinking Bella Vista Winery is the place in Maryville. That is the, all that's taking place. That is the place to get your brunch with Santa and then check out that girl band. Uh, starts 11 uh, to 2 p.m. with the brunch with Santa and then the, that girl band 2 to 6 p.m. His uh, reindeer, I guess, are going to be down the street. Well, actually in Glen Carbon, so a little bit farther than down the street not, there. Not too far, but yeah. A hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> and there, those reindeer are going to be at the Holiday Extravaganza Toy Drive. Uh, live reindeer and Leslie Reeves, 2 to 6 p.m. And that is at the cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon. It's all taking place Sunday, including uh, round number three of Bonnie Bramlett. Two o'clock performance at the Alfresco Art Center in Granite City. That's the uh, Chris... Miss in Concert, featuring local talent and live musicians and special guest Bonnie Bramlett on Sunday at 2 o'clock. And she might not like to hear this, but not only an amazing singer, but serious eye candy. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just saying. You know she knows that. <laughs> she, knows, My, she knows that I know that. We, uh, if, you, if, you, if you haven't caught it, you need to check out the uh, Bonnie Bramlin interview we were <sighs> fortunate enough to do. And one of my favorite parts of that, and we even labeled it, you know, that her love for uh, local music. Because, yeah. you know, she points out, like, how... Pretty much rock and roll was invented right here in Illinois on this side of the it, river. It, it it pretty you know with, with Johnny the only Johnson reason they had to go to St. Louis right was, was to get the gigs, <laughs> right. you know. But but it was the cats from over here that right. were that were were making Ike it and happen, Tina. man. Oh, right. Yeah, right. you know. So uh, it it's it is amazing to me that that that's the way that that went down, and she knows it because she was there when it, when it all right. went down. She yeah. saw it happen. Yeah. So uh, it, and how many uh, artists uh, from beyond that era? have you know copied that st louis horns blues sound that was the sound <laughs> it's like and, everybody and it really, really kind of still is man i mean i i just uh last week was down in new orleans catching uh music and then stopped at in memphis and was catching music but you know what you can see all that same where, where did all that that spawn the, the rock part of it right here Right here, they they took all them Listen. horns and stuff from down south from the jazz and just mixed it up with some with, yeah. with a backbeat, yep. put a nice backbeat to it. We had a pretty so. good horn player born in this town. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, you know the the fact that Miles Davis was <laughs> is from the same. You know, there's so much great music that oh, popped man. right on just on this side of the river yeah. is where uh, so George, much of it went. Down. George Brock Jr.'s entire family. Which right, is like right, 180 right. people, I uh, think, his brothers and sisters. Right? Uh, yeah, so, so here's what we're gonna do, though. What, what, uh, what, we're talking about how great Bonnie Bramlett is, and, and how she's uh, playing three shows this week. Right. Um, I'm going to set it up. I'm going to talk to Bonnie. Okay. And, and we're going to go down and do another show. We're going to do another show with her, but we're going to have Alex take some equipment, and we're going to do it from her house. Okay. We're going we're to just hang out with Bonnie. We're going to look in her fridge. Hey, I'm going to see. I want to see what's in there. Exactly. I, I'm, <laughs> she's gonna, she won't take no crap from you, dude. I she know. She will whoop your butt. But if butt. you distract her just like we did the butcher, <laughs> right? I'm not messing with Bonnie. Hey. I will mess with those wrestlers. I am not messing with Bonnie You know, Bonnie he's Bramley. back. The butcher was back this weekend. Is he back? Yeah, he didn't win it though he was in one of those uh in the wvw down there at uh, the vfw in collinsville right. by the way ace wants you to get a hold of him about a show in january possibly there we go so i want to pass that down a little inside right here on the show live uh oh we're having a show meeting right here on the show anyways your buddy the butcher was back and uh yeah He's probably still hurting from when I almost broke his arm that probably. time, and and so he's he's probably never going to recover from that. But 
good to see you. Like that. <laughs> and now, what, what, what other than Bonnie Bramlett, what's happening on Sundays? Eric Carr's booting wrestled over the weekend too, and well, I guarantee he's there. feeling it. Look there, Eric. <laughs> Eric Carr's booting. Wow, that's right. And power yeah. trip. There you uh, go. Let's wrap it up with Strangers 2 o'clock uh, at the uh, Deutz Village Inn, then karaoke later that night. Not, no, 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 no. Not, not just karaoke. Drunk karaoke. Drunk karaoke. That sounds somehow yeah. more fun and horrifying all at the same time. You know, Daddy uh, Doit did not sell the Village Inn. They were all worried about it, and I seen a post tonight saying, Daddy Doit did not sell. Excellent, excellent. So, Someone was trying to buy it from him. Mm. I heard it was a hostile takeover. I heard it was I, George I, Brock Jr. I didn't hear any of that. <laughs> no, what I heard was that Boulder Dash is going to be right. at Who Dats in Collinsville, 1 to 4 p.m. on Sunday. And then Mike Judy presents um, Very Very. I'm going Very Very. <laughs> very Very, but the first Very with an I. Right. Okay. Very Very? Very Very. Yeah, I thought it was French. I really did. <laughs> yeah. 55 bucks, so they must be somebody we don't know about. They're from France. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. And that is at Red Flag in St. Louis. And then one more, Mike Judy presents Bad Luck. I can say that one easy. It's my middle name. Uh, not really. Uh, 8.30 p.m. at the Old Rock House in St. Louis. $15 on that one. And that concludes your Sunday in the Riverbend area. All right. Now time for Fireside. So so before we get in... Oh, well... <laughs> Welcome to another edition of the Fireside Chats with Franklin Delano yes. Roosevelt. Yes. What's going on? <laughs> I'd rather it be the higher side chats oh, yeah. with Greg Carlwood, who's from St. Louis, by the way. I'm plenty high for that. That's Pigpen. I'm Dennis. And this is the Fireside Chat with the band Fireside. Now, Fireside is the, our band, and I don't know why we're whispering about it, because we should be screaming it from the top of the mountains, man. Uh, we, we've had a, a couple of these guys on before. I see some familiar faces in the room. I'm going to go ahead and call out some, some a, a few. Right next to me, we got Mr. Drew Robertson. He's the drummer of Fireside, correct? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, right? <laughs> but, but we've had you in here with Synapsis. Yeah. And and I've seen you somewhere before. I've seen you around town or around somewhere. Maybe. That's all right. We'll get back to that later. It doesn't matter. Next to him, we got Troy. Or Roy. I almost said Troy again. We got Roy Rogers McFreely. No, I'm sorry. We got Roy Vumard. Close <laughs> enough. I'll take it. From, from Columbia. I'll from, take go, it. Go ahead and lean in a wee bit. I will take talk. it. There you go. There you go. So you. you he uh, takes it, Pigpen. Oh, he, he's going to hey. take it. He's hey. going to take every bit of <laughs> much as I can give him. <laughs> all right. So. I don't know what I signed up for, but uh, there's <laughs> Money involved. Uh, just a tip. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get a free ticket for that. That, that joke's, <laughs> uh, that joke's for the scholars that. to figure I out. Will. I will. <laughs> I'm at it. All right, Ro Roy Vumar, you were you were in here with us before, but you were with the band. Uh, the Intrusion. The Intrusion. See, I, I drew a blank. I almost said synapsis again. Uh, you were with the band The Intrusion, and, and but now you're back with Fireside. Now we're going to keep moving. We're going to come back to you, Roy Rogers McFreely, figure out what you're all about. But I'm just trying to get through the through the crowd here. We got Jacob Pullen. He's making his 25th appearance with his 83rd him. band. 26, <laughs> but who's counting? All right. So we're we're, we're not even going to talk to him. We've no. talked to him way too much in the past couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he we've had him on with Synapsis. We've had him on with I the actually Intrusion. wasn't here for Synapsis. Well, we you know we talked about you. It wasn't good. We talked well, about yeah. you. Well, yeah. So, As all things are. <laughs> and of course, accidentally on purpose. I just I countless bands. Let's just skip Brody. it. It's, it's not even worth talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> next, we we have uh, Nathan Lewis. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Because uh, when I when I when I asked Nathan his name, I, have we met before, Nathan? I'm sorry. No. See, yeah. I, I, you don't look familiar. He's a stranger. Anymore. He's the stranger. stranger. But when I asked your name, no. you said Nathan Lewis, and everybody started screaming a bunch of other names at me. So I wasn't sure. Yeah, like, a lot of aliases. I, 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 <laughs> He's I, a man of many names. names. Oh, you got any friends call you Opal the Hot Little Bitch? No. <laughs> 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 well... I don't know about the hot part. <laughs> so, That's so, the part. So you w w and you are the uh, the lead guitarist of, of this outrig, right? Yes. There you go. Unfortunately. 
<laughs> You're gonna have to lean into one or two, one yes. or two of the mics. There you go. Yes. So, yeah, it's not bad. Sound. He's sounding perfect. There you go. So how how are you? Uh, how how long have you been knowing these guys? You're the newest guy. Like we, we know. Real, real quick, we'll also introduce Joe Whiteside here. Stop How's it? How you doing? Joe, you were. Uh, we talked to you at Halpin a few weeks ago, so we're not gonna talk to you much either. <laughs> he's like, but I came down, man. Uh, I, real, real quick, we're gonna skip back to Nathan though. He's the only new one in the in the room, so he's the most interesting to me. New meat. <laughs> As I do the finger mid of evil contemplation. Uh, uh, when did you uh, meet these cats? Have you known them for a while? Been friends with them? I've been friends with. Uh these two for upwards of over 10 years, and then these two for probably like a couple. A couple? A couple. That's More like, than a couple. It's like, well, like, it's like five at this point. Five, five, six years ago. We're at 13. If you these count. These two are at 13. Wow. Um, there you go. So, and, and you, you've been playing guitar the whole time, but just wasn't Absolutely in any not. of the other bands <laughs> with them? No. Uh, no, I've been playing guitar since probably four or five years ago. All right. Um, yeah, I, I, I just never. I, I was in a band with him for a while. Um, but he, he's he's pointing to Roy. Roy. Yeah. There you go. Sorry. Roy. That's all right. I was in a band with Roy. For guys, the audio format. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a band with Roy for a while, and uh, then we brought in Drew later, and then um, these two and him, Roy. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it asked asked. Uh, Drew. Andrew, yeah, Andrew and me to join this band. Excellent, excellent. And now he doesn't know their names worse than you. I, I, <laughs> at least I wrote the stuff down so I can remember. Right? Like, I, I, I what was your name again? Drew. Josh. There. Josh. Okay. Yeah. Now, so, so you've known him for a long time, uh, but yep. you, you weren't uh, like uh, the way we said they've all been in so many bands. You uh, was the band you were in with Roy, kind of your first. One of your first bands, or how? Yeah, there you go. So that was uh, that was my first band, I believe. That was Roy's. Oh, it was almost first Roy's first band. Um, it was my first band. It was just. just band. Ah, there you well, go. Well, you pop your band cherries, cherries together. <laughs> yeah. Nice, very nice. So you what never happened? Get your first. <laughs> what happened like four or five years ago when you decided to play guitar? Why? It Why? Was like red hot yeah. I did not actually. The genuine truth. I've, I've played acoustic guitar for okay. a long time, just because I thought it was really cool. I got a classical acoustic, and I heard, uh, I heard a Weezer song. I, I genuinely, I heard the chorus of "Say It Ain't So" with the wow, down, wow, wow. It's like, why can't I bend like that on my little acoustic? I don't know why I can't do that. <laughs> so then I, I bought an electric guitar. I actually, my neighbor gave me an old electric guitar just so I could play that song. It was all just that. Just so I could play that one song. The and first then, act. Yeah, that was the first act. The good the old ME 504 that met its fate in a bonfire. <laughs> good before job. I could, before I could take the pickup out of it too. As it probably well should have. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, but the humbucker and Jamie. <laughs> no, no. Uh, anyway. so, there, so there you go, man. So you are the newest member. Welcome to the club, man. Uh, we're going to have to go through a little ritual here to really introduce you to the club. <laughs> All right. Because every time I hit you, you just say, thank you, sir, may I have another? <laughs> and, and everything will be fine. Noted. Noted. All right. So uh, you guys uh, got together. You, you, most of you had already played together in, in different bands through the years. So when you guys got together, you already kind of, you know, had all popped your band cherries as we talked about this wasn't a new thing so did when you came together was it like a uh let's write music were you just getting together to party and have a good time or was there okay. even a thought process behind it see here's the thing we were uh we needed a band um we had split ways um roy jacob and i had split ways with our previous band um but like we still had gigs that we needed to do right so we called up we called up Drew and Nathan and said, hey, do you want to learn four hours of music in a week? <laughs> hey, um, hey, it wasn't a week. Give them credit. It, it was, was three like two days. days. It was two days. days. <laughs> <laughs> there was yeah. one practice. Was, That's was true. true. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was we had game. one rehearsal. It, it went really well. Um, these are some of the best musicians I've ever played with. Um, and they did incredible, and they stuck around. So thanks for that, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I went. I went up to my dad after the uh, the first rehearsal, and all I said was, "Oh my God, this band is gonna be amazing." <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> but um, it's so it started with, "Hey, would you help us play the rest of our commitments?" Right. And now it's, "Let's write 
let's play, let's get around to rehearsing. Um, <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> thank you for laughing. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're definitely focusing a little bit heavier on writing right now, now that we have a good standard set. And reasons too. And also reasons too, yes. Well, and, and now that you've solidified a lineup to start writing. Oh, with, definitely. There you go. So you should have been like the designated hitter band or something at first. You were just like filling some slots, right? That That's that's pretty cool. You just called them up to fill in the, the slots that you had with the other band, but they stuck around. There you go. That's a pretty uh, interesting way to come about being a band. I don't think I've ever been asked to be a fill-in guy for <laughs> just to fill in a couple slots. I'm usually asked to clear the house out at the end of the night is all I'm ever asked to do. <laughs> so so you guys just got together to a f- couple shows, and now you're you're writing. Are you working on a recording? We're looking yeah. into it. Well, we're doing more than looking into it. Yeah, we're, we have we, looked we will. into it. We're writing currently, and we plan to get into the studio at some point. That's it. That was yeah. the end of that answer. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it, it seemed like there was going to be more, though, with the attitude you said yeah. about it. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically, what he means is we're going to. Yeah. We're working on getting songs. We don't know when or where we're going to record. Right. So TBD. if you like uh, oh, a recording uh, artist. Sorry, it's something in my throat. <laughs> yeah, if you're a recording engineer and you need somebody to... <laughs> if you're looking for a project. If you're a producer looking yeah. for a project. Looking for a project. Yeah. 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 Looking to take on. We're looking projects. for a lot of work. Boy, yeah. Boy, uh, <laughs> a and lot of money. work and a whole we need lot money. of no pay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, if you want to pay for us, that would be awesome. I'm just kidding. That would be no, awful. No, we will pay money. That's how you do it. all do. We will pay for you. Because you know what? We're musicians. And musicians don't get paid enough. And so it would be wrong if musicians didn't pay people who deserve to be paid. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm not yeah. buying it. You're not but wrong. Exactly. He, he, he seemed to be tongue-in-cheek when he said yeah. it. But that's all right. Well, <laughs> well I mean, you wouldn't, <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't pay a plumber an exposure. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you pay a bet? Dude, the guy who cleaned out my septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Uh, Facebook uh, groups. Do uh, <laughs> you, you ever need anything plumbing related? This guy. This guy's your guy. Right, this right. guy will go into your septic tank and get everything <laughs> He's out. He's been laying pipe for 26 years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh. know. <laughs> hey, even double exposure. Uh, see there? Double exposure. Is that the name, new name of the band now? I like that. Oh. I think it's Sockwad. Isn't it Sockwad? Sockwad. You know what? Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the, the band name is TBA. TBA. Yeah. yeah. Sockwad. Sockwad. <laughs> I vote for Sockwad. I kind of like Koala Brains. Yeah, I do like Koala, Koala Brains. Brains. is pretty good. If we do change our name, I'd be down to change I'd do Koala a Koala Brains. Brains. Or Double Exposure. This, Although I feel like Double What's exposure happening here is a band meeting is going on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's sit by and watch. We don't get many of them in, so we do no, just we whenever don't. we can. We don't know. Oh, we've, had, we've had band meetings, band fights. Uh, we Yeah. We we've yeah. tried to break up a few bands. I'm thinking about doing it right now. I see. <laughs> I see, I see this, I mean, th- this guy lives like four hours away, so we only really ever get to interact as a full unit on the weekends. Yeah. Right. Now when he said this guy, he pointed to Roy. Oh yeah, I pointed yeah. to Roy. <laughs> I'm doing the, I'm doing anyway. the commentary here. I don't know what I'm doing. So, so Roy, you, he says you live uh, a few hours away. You're living out in the middle of Missouri. Yeah, I'm going to school at Mizzou. Um, if you couldn't tell by <laughs> you, by you were the, dressed hey, properly, I mean, they wouldn't be able to tell in the audio format. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Shout out Mizzou. He's wearing a Mizzou sweatshirt. There we go. So he means Roy. I, I live out in Columbia because of that, which is like two and a half hours away. Yeah. Like that. Well, what are you studying? I'm studying uh, f- <laughs> uh, technically a double major: physics and math for pre-med. Physics and math for pre-med. Yeah. You're gonna go to internal medicine. That's where uh, the money's at, dude. Surgery. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't even surgery. know. I'm just saying <laughs> words. He's just making noises at this point. Uh, so what, what, it, what uh, kind of medicine are you planning on studying? What kind of physician you want to be? Like, oh. probably an emergency surgeon. That's where uh, I want to go right now. The with ER? That, that's Something like that. You're, you're a good person because I don't even like to visit one, let alone like have to stay one for eight hours. Yeah. It's a depressing place full of sick people and hurt people. That's going to be my life. Also. Good for you, man. Yeah. Ooh, I'm, hey, glad, I'm glad it's you. Once we you. get absolutely famous. That's yeah. No, no, no. You'll Big still fans. do it. I'll still do yeah, it. You'll still do it, man. It's like, you'll be like Brian May. Brian May? Yeah, I was about yeah, to say. Brian May with his PhD. 
Or you could just, yeah, you know, at, at, at every there. big concert, there's always that little room where they're putting all the people that are OD, and you could go work there. <laughs> 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 you could go help out those people after Amazing. you sing. We, yeah. just come into we can make songs about drugs, and then I can surgically operate on the people who do too many drugs. There you go. It, it's no, you just it's a big in. circle, the you circle know what of I think life. That looks like? I think circle that looks like a. Drugs. Drugs. That looks oh, like no. A full <laughs> circle of income right there. No, you sell the people drugs, you tell them to OD on the drugs, and then you operate the people. On the wow! Yeah. And then I mean, you take more of the money. Part. That's where the money's at. So, so just so, music. just to be clear to all the listeners, neither Dennis nor I said anything about the selling no. of drugs. We only talked about taking them. <laughs> uh, Fire, I'll, Fireside I'll does not condone bullet. the selling of opiates. <laughs> <laughs> Who said anything about opiates? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nobody said anything about opiates until you said. Anyway, opiates. so Fireside. <laughs> yeah, we're a band. Yeah. My we're bad. bad. You, you, you seem music. like some guys I yeah. want to hang out with. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It sounds like a good time. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, you guys, uh, good luck to you. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> yeah. after that. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of yeah. in the surgery room, key talking I, hands. Yeah. I, I hope we you usually all talk don't about get arrested music. on the way. We usually talk about music. We usually talk about music. This is the longest we've ever gone without talking about music. This is the longest we've talk ever music. talked about music. Let's talk about music. Let's talk about <laughs> All right, so let's, let's talk about the music. What kind of music you guys write? The kind we write. We try to write good, good, good stuff. We do. It doesn't always work. It oh. hovers somewhere around like Radiohead meets some other band I've never heard of. But <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, that's some other band I've never heard of. I've yeah. got their first album. Oh, really? Yeah, man. <laughs> that oh, is, that's deep cuts there. <laughs> So, so Radiohead versus like weirdness or, or more weird? No. Um, no, not just really? sort of not as weird as like, Radiohead. No, not not as. We, weird. Yeah, it ranges like from like weirdness. Radiohead to like Joe writes a lot of like indie pop songs, stuff like that. And then they fix them. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I, like I know I know Nathan and I. Nathan and I, everything we write hovers somewhere between like Radiohead, Chili Peppers, and the, the Beatles. Beatles. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah. yeah. And I write a lot of Coldplay songs. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I write a lot of sad boy pop songs as well. Yeah. Sad boy pop songs. Yeah. That's boy with an I, by the way. <laughs> a boy? Oh. I don't oh, even boy. know what's going on. All right, so, so, it's a, so there's, there's, a, there's a bit of a variety going on. And, and uh, you guys, what, you pull yeah. it together? If you bring up a uh, uh, sad boy pop song, then they... Uh, Spice it up with some chili peppers to, yep. to make it less sad, or what? Yeah, they'll amp yeah. it up. Our usual kind of style is one of us will bring a song, we'll all kind of learn it, and then we'll tweak it. All yeah, and then we our all individual put our, parts. Yeah, we all put our own vibe in, yeah. into it. Yeah. First, it's, you learn the tune, then you figure yeah. out where you fit in it. Right. Yeah, nice. we just right. had a rehearsal last weekend where we went in and we like tweaked everything oh, on yeah. all of all the songs that we already play. We like yeah. tweaked everything, changed some stuff. Just basically like ironed it out, got it like fully ready, like played them the next day. Yeah, yeah so made it so it's like we're not jamming over them. Made it so we like working as a unit to like. Yeah, you know, like you know, like music. We do. Yeah. music. <laughs> we play music sometimes. Yeah. But this way, you could language. you could transcribe it now. You could write it down. Yeah. And we know what we're doing. We play notes that are in the same key together. And <laughs> try to stay in the that's same time frame. Not always. <laughs> that's not always. Yeah, that's a stretch. You guys ever heard of jazz? Uh, I mean, uh, we do have two jazz majors. Yeah. In the room. We just yeah. do jazz. Unfortunately, we perform. <laughs> jazz. Now I'm into jazz. Yeah. Let's, go. Let's go. We do. I think we have a couple of Herbie Hancock tunes that we do live. If yeah. Like First guy to ever spin a record on MTV, but the Wiki Wiki Scratch Scratch one. Herbie, Herbie Hancock, Hancock did that. Yeah. Good man. Hey, we have yeah we have two Herbie Hancock songs, and he plays Herbie Hancock's guitar. There you go. Herbie Sam Hancock was fired by our own uh, Miles Davis. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he was. That was a mistake yeah, financially, honestly. Yeah. Oh, There's yeah. a video online. If you Miles look up Davis Miles Davis getting mad at Herbie Hancock, yeah. it's pretty funny. But Herbie Hancock, I'll tell you, Miles firing him was the best thing that ever happened to his career because well, he would yeah. have always been Miles' backup man. That's true. And he finally got to get out and do his own. Yeah, and then he put out Headhunters. He put out Headhunters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's yeah, no bitches brew, but I mean, you know, it's, it's head no I mean, brew. honestly, it's yeah, it's not, but. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Album. I disagree. Is there really anything that is bitches, bro? No, I don't think no, so. no. There's not. 
What what about uh what about some jazz like like Horace that. Silver? You guys into that kid? No. Eh, kinda. I like his arrangements. I'm, I, I dig uh, I dig some of his lyrical content. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's got some good stuff. So. Whenever I think jazz, I'm like big into like Bill Evans. Uh, I like a lot of Coltrane Monk. stuff. Coltrane's. Uh, oh, yeah. Huge into Thelonious Monk right now. Monk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been. Yeah. Thelonious Monk is like Duke Ellington, but put out way more music. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's like Duke yeah. Ellington if he had lived longer. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I like and then, yeah, and then, Klein, why don't she put out more albums? Yeah, and then I listen. I listen to an an obscene amount of jazz fusion. Okay. Yeah. You haven't yeah. brought up Jocko yet. Well, that's where I was getting to jazz okay. fusion. I love weather. Yeah. Please, weather you're yeah. the bass player. Bring yeah. up Jocko. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, I even stole his entire name and put a B at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's true. We did do that. I am, did I, do that. I'm way on the other side. I'm huge. I love Billie Holiday. Yeah. I like Frank Sinatra. Oh, I Elf love Corny Jazz. I like Corny Jazz. Not Corny. <laughs> not all of it anyway. Not like Big Band Making stuff. Whoopi. I love Big That's Band. Corny. Yeah. But the rest of it is nice. Look, if you're trying to hook up with a chick who's got a social security check coming every month, you want some Frank Sinatra. <laughs> oh, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> it just depends on what you're trying to do with your life, right? No, Frank, Sina- Frank Sinatra, I share a birthday with the man. Yeah. Frank Sinatra has my undying love. You ever seen him play drums? No, he's died. He Wicked died. drums. <laughs> 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 Not he's dead. <laughs> Why don't he make more albums, too? <laughs> no, Frank Sinatra put out enough albums for multiple lifetimes. Yeah. I think we're all right. Honestly, yeah, he's, he's, he's honestly like... Frank play drums? He's honestly no, like... Any good. Frank he's like drums. the... Bucket head or, he's Wicked like the Buckethead or Prince yeah. of Jazz. You ever seen he's, Prince play drums? Yeah. You ever seen Stevie Wonder play drums? He's badass, but he hasn't even seen himself. I was about to mm. <laughs> No! I stole your joke. I saw you light up when I said it. As soon as I said you ever see Stevie Wonder play, he was like, oh, I got a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I got a funny. <laughs> now you beat me to that one. Uh, so Anywho. there you go. So you guys like jazz? There we go. Yeah, <laughs> that I like was Charles a fun Mangus. conversation about I like, it. I like, I like Charles Mangus so much that I stole his entire vibe of the Black Saint and the City Lady, and I wrote a piece that won a that won a state competition. Or yeah, I remember. I won that. a I won a state competition with a piece I composed. That I just yoinked basically all of Mangus's. Aesthetic. <laughs> it's yeah. it's really I, good. I, I, I've, I've heard the piece. So it we went from good. stealing Mingus it. to Radiohead. Yeah, I went from yeah. So so you you rip off Mingus and win an award. Do you do you at I, least like I give did. him a little like hey? Yeah, the piece is the, the piece is titled Mingusian Noir. I wasn't okay. trying to hide it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I just uh, yeah. Wasn't trying to play it off like no. your own. There so you can go. Can we perform it? I was just trying. Yes, we should. <laughs> we could not do. It's a big band jazz chart written for nineteen piece big band. And yeah, five yeah. person yeah. rock band. How many fingers do we have between us? <laughs> At least four at a time. I can count yeah. five on one hand. Sure. Not even counting toes yet. That's true. I'm He's got to take some skill. <laughs> He's thinking. All right, so there you go. These guys are these guys are weird, man. They're creeping me out a little bit. How about yeah. you? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. This, I mean, that, we are musicians. <laughs> You're, you're something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Debatably musicians. Debatably musicians. <laughs> musicians yeah. is a stretch. Uh, but yeah, so musicians is a uh, strong word. Hot take. Well, there you go. What they are is fireside. Now, have you guys got a way people can look you up to, to check you out? you got a Facebook page? Yeah, definitely. We've got a Facebook. We've got Instagram. We also have a website, but it's currently under construction, as I understand. I have been meaning to get onto that for like six months. So the website is under construction. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, no, no. I at least have it to the point where, like, my dad, so, so yeah, my dad what's is the way Facebook? better at it. He got yeah. it to the point uh, where every time we put a, an fi- event on Facebook, it... Official yeah. fireside band. Um, no spaces, no nothing. As is the Instagram. You can go and follow us there, like our page, whatever everyone else says. Well, the Facebook so. is just Fireside. Is it just Fireside? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there the Facebook go. is just Fireside. Yeah, and for some reason, the Instagram cross posts everything to my personal Facebook account, which is interesting. There yeah. You if so you then, find if you find any one of us, you'll probably you'll find probably a get linked in. So there you go. Somewhere. I uh, got any videos for people to check out? Up we on do. YouTube? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we put one up. From Halp and a couple weeks ago mm-hmm. of paranoid of us playing Paranoid Android. We've got yeah, we've got that. We've got a couple of good ones. We do uh, Stevie Wonders, isn't she lovely? We've yeah, got that's a good on our video of that. Page. That is on our community page. So. Yeah, I'd take, um, I'd take a mean kazoo solo. So are these all on the Facebook page where people yeah. can go see? Yeah, them? there you go. So I so think everything that's on the Instagram is on Facebook, right? Yes, everything except a couple. Yeah, like. 
from the first practice. Right, right. And then um, we're going to move all the videos that we have. We're going to be moving them onto a YouTube shortly. So go find us there. Probably by the time this airs. Um, yeah, it's, it's Fireside, I mean, we're probably Fireside Band, it. Alton, Illinois. Just look us up there, and you can find us, find our channel. Getting ready to launch a YouTube channel. By the time this airs, it'll, it will be launched. Yes, we're gonna sir. Yeah, so I mean, we're go. probably going to put the entire Point Fest set up on there, too. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And like, so that, so he, he uh, Mr. Jacob pulling there is uh, hmm. alluding to Point Fest. This is probably going to play after, after uh, this is probably airing after you guys play that. But as of November 20th, you guys play Pops. Right. Point right. Fest, Road to Point Fest, right. which Point is the Fest. first round uh, to get to play the Point Fest, correct? Quick, guys, yeah. everybody pretend we won. All right, so now, yeah. yeah. So you guys won the first round. So as, as we're listening <laughs> yeah. to this, we're, we're going to assume that you won the first round on the 20th. And if right? not, so now you're going sad. on to the second round. Are you guys <laughs> excited for the second round? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, absolutely. Woo! So now are you going to do a different set for the second round than you did the first oh, round? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bust out some new material. Sure. I think we're gonna go all Frank Zappa covers. For the <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna yeah. play panty rap. We're, we're, we're only gonna panty, panty yeah, thirty minutes of panty rap. Well, yeah. You know what? Let's yeah, do I the entire it, album. Shake your booty. Yeah, no, I Joe's Gar Joe's Garage. Frank's Garage. Yeah, Joe's Garage. You brought up Black Page. Name. They're gonna keep oh, going. No, I, we we're gonna go play Diamond Bozio. Diamond Bozio. Dale Bozio. She's the one stuck the team in the bus. There you go. Any kind. Are we singing Zappa? Yeah. We've got I mean, all Zappa all the I time Zappa. here. So that, all right, so there you go. They're obviously big Frank Zappa fans, so they finally scored three some of points us in this studio. Maybe finally, two of us. Right. finally. I mean, all this jazz three stuff is just making me, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Mingus makes me mungus now. <laughs> <laughs> mungus. <laughs> anyway, no, all right. Mungus. So, so there you go. Fireside. Check them out on their uh, what do we say? YouTube, uh, YouTube channel, YouTube, uh, Facebook, YouTube Instagram, channel, all, all that stuff. It. Check them out and they're going to be playing because we know that they won the first round of, the, of, of that. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. And if not, sorry guys, we just like you. And if this goes yeah. up before we're playing November 20th, we got tickets right here. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> we will. That's we a fat if. We don't There have. you go. There you go. So there's a, uh, what, and you guys got anything else? Big plan in the future. Uh, yeah, on other the than Point Fest two, other than second yeah, round. Yeah, I mean Point yeah. Fest twenty twenty two. Of course, <laughs> yeah. of course. Uh, but uh, for real, November twenty seventh, we're going to be playing at the Concordia Club in Staunton from seven to eleven. Um, December fourth, we're playing here in Alton at the Conservatory. I believe that starts at eight p.m. Uh, no cover charge, so don't worry. There you go. Um, and then on the 11th of December, we're playing Chubbies. Um, and I believe, I believe that starts as at 8 as well. Everybody head yes. down and get yourself a Chubby. And then this Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> and, and just in case it goes up early, November 13th. Yeah, and just in case it does go up early, uh, November yeah. 13th. Well, there you go. So those are the dates that th that you should have seen them play. <laughs> <laughs> as, yeah. as it's now January twenty third. But no, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, all right. So there you go. That is the Fireside Band uh, again. We've got Joe Whiteside, Nathan Lewis, Jacob Pullen, Roy. Rogers McFreely Vumard and uh, Drew <laughs> Robertson. So there you go, guys. Thanks a lot for uh, for coming down. Best of luck on round two point fest. Woo! Woo! Oh yeah. Go. All right. So we are. Uh, I didn't think we mentioned our sponsors. Uh, Joe works for one of them, Halpin Music Company. Yes, sir. Halpin right? Music. We've been in business for sixty years, serving the Alton area community. Yeah. <laughs> that old <laughs> Alton area community. Yeah. And one tenth of those sixty years, they've been sponsoring us right here at this show oh, right. from the other so there you go. Right. six so years <laughs> and then uh matt van voris from macias insurance and uh farmers insurance agent michael Kreider. so there you go and there you know. Know. real quick before we wrap it up and tell everyone what they're supposed to do but between now and next week what do you do at halpin well, it happens I do a various number of things. Uh, Take out the trash, yeah. empty the ashtray. No, you know what? Yeah, every, <laughs> everything but the ashtray. Um, no, I'm the uh, I'm one of the sales associates there, and I also teach viola there, so if you want to take viola lessons, for whatever reason you want to play viola, I couldn't think of one. Anyway. Because it's the smallest instrument to carry. Uh, no, it's the most ones. useless one to play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. It's like the bass. It is like the bass of orchestra. If you play it, you get hired. That's true. Everybody sure. needs violists. Yeah. Every orchestra is in need of violists. But because, that's because nobody wants to play. No. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I do that. I, I teach. I um, do sales there. Take care of 
contracts from time to time. There you go. So people can just show up and help and, and find out what's up with Fireside. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm there, there afternoons, Monday through Thursday, so. Yeah. If they need tickets for anything, you'll probably have them there. Actually, yeah. Um, I realize this is probably airing after um, our Road to Point Fest. After Round one. After round one. Um, <laughs> but assuming I still have permission to, um, you can come to Halpin's and yeah. buy a ticket. Um, this round of tickets, anyway, is six bucks. Six bucks a ticket. It's at Pops and St. Pops and event Soge. venue in St. Louis. Soge, Illinois. Soge? Soge. Yeah. He will be. Soggit. Soggit. <laughs> It, it, it's the bar that you have no idea what time it is. There's not a window in the place. It's open 24 hours. You can go in on a Tuesday, not leave till Saturday. The only way you know that like time has changed is at 3 a.m. when all the strip clubs close down. A bunch of strippers come in, and you're like, oh, it must be 3 a.m. That's the oh, only boy, way you know what time it is. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, you can be there for days. I'm just saying, you guys be careful in that place. I got lost there for a week and a half one time. <laughs> So I'll keep I'll keep a string tied to the door. There you go. The the buddy system. (laughs) All right, that these are the the crazy guys known as Fireside. Check them out on their uh, YouTube. Check them out on their Facebook. All that stuff. Again, big thanks to our sponsors, Halpin, uh, Macias Insurance, and uh, Kreider, Michael Kreider from Farmers Insurance, and all of you people. Between now and next week, get out and support local music and art. 